Uh, moving on now, the Delta State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Ikime Juro Orori, SAN, has emphasized the need for stronger collaboration between investigative agencies and the Ministry of Justice to ensure a more efficient and effective justice system in the state. He made these remarks while declaring open a one-day capacity building workshop on effective criminal investigation by investigating agencies and authorities under the Delta State Administration of Criminal Justice Law 2022. Now, the purpose of the training was to bring investigators up to speed with the new law, recognizing the crucial role of security agencies, especially the police, in the delivery of justice. Another law enforcement agencies who carry investigations in Delta State on how to carry out investigations that will be in compliance with constitutional provisions for fair hearing and also for compliance with the provisions of the criminal justice law of Delta State. The whole essence is that you don't want to go to court, conduct a case and then lose the case because of simple errors you know, during investigation. So hopefully we have bridged the gap today by a long way. This is just one of the first of several trainings that we are planning to organize for the law enforcement agencies in Delta State. We had judges of great experience, judges who have passion for criminal justice reform, and the engagement was, you know, complete. It was a very illuminating exercise, and I believe that our law enforcement agencies really learned much today that will help us in Delta State in the area of criminal justice dispensation. On this point, Honorable Justice Anthony Okoroda said the investigating agencies must be conversant with the provisions of the law that protect the right of both suspect and complainant. Synergy between um, investigators and prosecutors. You know, when you take a case to court, you need the investigation to be properly done and then the prosecution to be properly conducted in order to get um, a conviction. So it's important that investigators and prosecutors work together to achieve uh, success. Things are changing. By a situation where a crime is committed and then the police gets to the scene of crime and then makes mass arrests of people, whether or not they're actually involved, it's not good. If they continue to do that, then it will be difficult for um, members of the public to volunteer um, statements. It counsel or a legal practitioner from the Office of Public Defender or any other person, individual person of his choice. Yes, that is a huge tax on us, on investigation generally, because Take, for instance, in the rural area, police formations cut across so many communities, local government, and you will agree with me that some of these noble uh, provisions put in place, the efficacy of complying with them is, uh, I mean, uh, is very remote. The investigators and the prosecutors are supposed to synergize. And it was an opportunity for the prosecutors, who include my humble self, to tell the investigators, the police and other law enforcement agents, uh, some nitty-gritty, in, in, especially in area of uh, investigation and statement taking. There are procedures for investigation, which usually starts with an arrest. There is a procedure for arresting, there is a procedure for taking a statement, there is also a procedure for filing whatever statement has been taken. There, so it's about an interaction between the police and the Department of uh, Public Prosecutions of the Ministry of Justice. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.